Today we look into a simple but impressive modifier. By the way, this is the last modifier in my overview series. I left a link in the description. Here we go. Create a shape and press Add Zigzag. There are three settings. The first one is responsible for the zigzag size. Note that sharp angles become beveled at some point. Rights per segment is responsible for the number of new angles. Both parameters can be animated. The point setting changes the type of connection. Let's look at it on smooth. So, now let's see what we can do with it. The simplest example of application is to create shapes for certificate icon. You can also make a cross or an asterisk out of a circle. And the most popular thing is the wave. I do it without grids and without rough alignment. We create a line and duplicate it. Then we apply 50% horizontal scale on the copy of the line and align it to the right. This will be the size of our final wave. Now apply zigzag to the initial line and set it up. The next step is to animate position. We add the first keyframe, go to the work area end and align the shape to the left edge of the copy. So now we need the trim path modifier. Apply it to our line. At first set the start to 50% and 0 at the end. The end parameter firstly to 100 and then to 50. Voila! The animation should be looped. If it doesn't happen, try to change rights per segment value. It will help. Ok, now I finish my overview series about shape modifiers. I hope you found it helpful. Thanks and see ya!